Hey, this is Melissa with Atlanta Doodles and Poodles. I was wanting to go over a few things with everyone. Um, we have some questions and concerns when people pick up puppies. Um, things that they wanna know, such as how to take care of them, how much to feed them, what is their puppy schedule, how to keep them on their potty training, um, different things of that sort. So I just wanted to kind of go over with you um, just some things that I suggest and things that will make your life a little bit easier. First of all, when you pick up a puppy, before you do that, there's things that you need to do at home to kind of get prepared. So the things that you could do to get prepared would be, um, I advise everyone to go on Amazon or Chewy and you can find these pins that are like eight panel pins. And what happens is they kind of open up like an accordion. Um, the pins are, they snap together. Uh, they come already put together. So it's easier for you uh, in terms of, you know, putting them away when you're done, open them up when you need them. Um, so what this does is protects the puppy because a lot of times people don't understand when you get a new puppy, there's things that are gonna happen, potty accidents. There's things that are gonna happen in terms of, um, you know, them getting into cords that could be plugged in. Um, there's gonna be a place that you're gonna need to keep your puppy whenever you are going to dinner or if you're upstairs washing clothes or if you have guests come over, you don't wanna just put them in your bathroom or put them somewhere where they can chew on your cabinets. Um, puppies can be destructive. Uh, that's another thing I'd advise you to get some um, bones for them to chew on. Um, you can order those also on Amazon. Um, I can share a link for anyone that needs that. You can email me on my website, atlantadoodlesandpoodles.com, and I'd be happy to share you a link. Um, but anyway, so the eight panel pen is what I would use to get prepared for, you know, bringing your puppy home so that you have a place to contain the puppy while it is learning to continue its potty training. Um, we do start potty training at four weeks um, after the moms uh, wean the puppies. We let the puppies go out every two hours. Um, we have a small area in my backyard where they're allowed to go every two hours to go potty. Um, we've never, by the way, had a Parvo case. Um, we've never had anything like that happen. Um, Parvo can live in the ground for 12 years. So, you know, I feel confident where I am that my puppies won't get Parvo because they've never had it. But you do need to be careful, like going to public parks. You need to be careful with, um, you know, letting them out anywhere other than your own yard when you're going through the motions of potty training until they've had their 12 week shots because they can be exposed. Typically most um, dogs, you know, should become a breeder. You know, you've had parvo uh, injections for your own animals that you're gonna be breeding, but um, puppies can be exposed to it, but they get the antibodies from the mom's milk. So that's a good thing. So, you know, then on top of that, you're giving them their first round of Parvo shot at week six. And then I give a five way shot um, at week eight. So they're getting that. Um, the antibodies from the mother's milk provides a protection barrier for those uh, before that. So um, just remember to keep your puppy in your yard. Don't Take it on walks in the neighborhood or anywhere if you can help it other than, you know, your own yard. Okay, so another thing about feeding. I advise everyone to check with their vet to, uh, you know, see what their feeding schedule is. We feed, we feed in, you know, big litters. We have big trays that we feed. So, you know, we're feeding different um, than someone would be for one puppy. So what I would advise you to do is go onto the internet and Google large breed dogs, or if you get a mini, smaller breeds, and Google puppy feeding chart. You can also look on the back of the bag, put in, you know, you can weigh your puppy. Um, you can get a digital scale from Amazon that you could keep track of that until you, you know, of course you'll be going to the vet, you know, at week 10 and week 12. You will need to go and get your updated shots um, after you, get the last one from the breeder at week eight. So they will need, again, they'll need to go back and get their 10 week shot and then their 12 week shot. And then after that, they've had everything that they need as a puppy. 
Um, they will go ahead and give them their rabies. They'll go ahead and give them um, their other parvo shots, their five-way, seven-way. Um, these are uh, additional shots that they'll be needing. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I tell them as far as feeding, we feed you know the puppies throughout the day. We feed them um, when they wake up, we let them potty. We feed them at 6.30. Um, we let them go potty. We feed them again around noon. We feed them again around two. And we feed them again around, the last feeding is around uh, five. We don't feed them past five because puppies, they tend to poop a lot. Um, anytime you feed them at home, remember to take them out within five minutes after they eat because they go pretty quickly. Um, I think that's pretty much everything that uh, of importance um, as far as sleeping. You know, our puppies are used to sleeping in a pen together, so when they do go home, they're going to be alone. You have to understand that puppies are going to have a little bit of separation anxiety from being weaned uh, from their mothers, being taken away from their mom, being taken away from their litter mates, and. It puts a little bit of stress on them. Always remember that their immune system can drop down and can be lowered during that time. So um, let me grab this. I wanna show you guys this. When their immune system is being compromised from stress, I always recommend, whether it's a new puppy or not, that your dog always have supplements and be on some sort of vitamins. Um, the food is, you know, one thing, but it doesn't have all the nutrition that's in the food that the dog is gonna need. I mean, it's just like people, you know, I take probiotics, digestive enzymes, I take vitamins. So this is a really good one that I am partners with. It's called New Vet Plus. Um, this is something that I highly recommend. Uh, it has got all the antioxidants that's needed to keep your pet healthy. Um, and it's got all the vitamins needed that is not in the food that they get. So I would definitely highly recommend supplementing. If you guys wanna use my code, you're welcome to do that, Atlanta Doodles and Poodles, which will give you a discount and it'll let you purchase um, because I'm partners with them. These are just chewable wafers and I give my dogs one every day. I get the puppies once they're born and old enough to eat food, I start them on these vitamins. I also use these during pregnancy uh, for my dogs, as well as triglycerides, which helps to have very healthy puppies. So um, these are just a few things that we do and things that I recommend um, for your dog. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything or if you feel like you need to know anything else, um, I offer lifetime breeder support. So you guys are welcome to email me on atlantadoodlesandpoodles.com and any questions that you may have, um, I hope in the future you choose us for your breeder. We take uh, very good pride in everything that we do here. Um, we love our puppies like they are our own children and we adore them so much and we would love to meet you. We would love to um, have you come visit our home. We would love for you to check with references from our local vet. And that's another thing I tell everyone, you know, people calling looking for a puppy. Well, how do we know that you're not a scammer? How do we know we've been scammed before? Well, what I would say is call their vet. Ask them if you're gonna choose a breeder, call their vet. Say, you know, who do you use to do your puppy checkups before they go home? And if they give you a phone number, great. I would always uh, check online and Google the name of the vet, make sure they gave you the right phone number. I would call them and say, hey, this is the breeder that I'm thinking about choosing. Are the puppies healthy? You know, have they always checked out good? And just make sure that you contact their uh, veterinarian. That is a great source to knowing if who you're dealing with is a reputable breeder. Thank you guys for visiting our channel on YouTube and y'all have a great day. Thank you.